I also realized that the Bible makes provision when it comes to peace and how we obtain peace. Uh, for the past 75 years, the United Nations have attempted and tried to broker peace and to secure lasting peace in nations and in different territories and regions of our world, but has failed. The reason why they failed is because peace is not a commodity. Peace is a personality. His name is the Prince of Peace. And we can never know peace in any region of the world until we acknowledge his lordship and invite him to the table. Peace is not obtained by negotiation. Negotiation has its part and the part it plays. But peace cannot be obtained by negotiation because if it does, then the Bible will say negotiate peace. But the Bible talks about few things. It talks about pray for the peace of Jerusalem. For they shall prosper that love thee. Then he said, in that same tone, he said, peace within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. Peace is a state of tranquility and there cannot be prosperity in any country, in any region of our world without peace. Tran peace is tranquility. Tranquility produces stability and stability produces creativity and creativity produces productivity and productivity produces prosperity so a nation will not prosper where there is war and conflicts and unrest that land will not go anywhere and for whatever reason it looks like the enemy is so interested in a lot of regions of our world and especially countries in africa you know to create unrest to stop our sense of creativity, productivity that brings about stability and prosperity. So we are impoverished with all of our resources we have at, at our disposal. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 7, he said, he said, seek and pray unto the Lord. Seek and pray unto the Lord. For the peace of the city or the nation where you have been taken into captivity. We are not in captivity. But the Bible said, pray even for the peace of where you've been taken into captivity. For it is in the peace thereof shall thou know peace. So we cannot enjoy peace, nor know peace, irrespective of who we are, if there is no peace in this country. And if you look at the second, first Timothy 2, 1 to 4. He said, I exhort therefore that first of all, prayers, intercession, giving of thanks, be made for all men. Number two, for kings, for all that are in authority, president, kings, for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Number three, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our savior. And so peace can be obtained when we pray for those in authority, irrespective of your political persuasion and where you belong, and whether you like the government of the day or not, it is required of us and it is a command. And the Bible does not suggest, the Bible commands that we pray for all that are in authority. That if we seek peace and we want the kind of peace that comes from Elohim, Adonai, then he said pray unto God for all that are in authority for all men irrespective of their religious background and political persuasion or beliefs that prayer for them guarantees few things he said that we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life and then he talks about godliness and honesty so there cannot be godliness and there cannot be honesty in any country or nation where people dwell or regions of the earth, if prayer does not go up for those that are in authority, it is a command, it's a demand, and it is a requirement by Almighty God. And in order for there to be peace, we have to confront the power, the authority that fights peace, prevents peace, opposes peace, resists peace. If you look at Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27 and verse 28, he said, and the Lord shall say, destroy, destroy. And he said, then shall Israel dwell in safety alone. If our country would dwell in safety alone, then anything that does not work for peace, 
anything that does not stand for peace must be eradicated must be terminated must be arrested must be destroyed that is the only time that peace can be experienced and peace can reign let peace reign from the length and breadth of Ghana let peace prevail and I'm talking about the peace of God that passes all understanding because if you look at Philippians 4 6 he said be careful for nothing don't be troubled and worry anxious for nothing about the speculations and the fears and the threatenings and the intimidations of men and women he said don't be worried about any of this but he said in all of this with prayers supplication with intercession giving of thanks having an attitude of gratitude even in the midst of the chaos that God is able he said then shall the peace of God which passes all understanding if we would do these things what things if we will pray if we will intercede give thanks supplication before God then God said I will guarantee peace that I will give you peace not as the world gives I will give you peace that passes all understanding ladies and gentlemen if there is any other way to obtain peace the Bible would have told us there's no other way to obtain peace but to pray and if we will pray to Almighty God he that hears and answers prayer I guarantee you peace shall prevail within our walls we need to pray that any outcome of 2020 election and any event within our election that will compromise our peace and will create any state of civil unrest to bring about any confusion and violence in this land by the name that is above every other name let that event be arrested let that event be arrested and let anyone that the enemy has deployed to use as a weapon to bring about unrest to this country and to create about any kind of a situation of civil unrest violence sharing of innocent blood in the name of the lord jesus let such a one by the armies of heaven be redeployed Mayandu kalimba du devaluki andamaha sanawala hakin sidi behaya. Let God arise. Let the God of the armies of heaven arise. And let the enemies, let the enemies of the peace and the destiny of this country be like chaff before the wind. Yea, let them be as smoke that is carried away. May they perish as wax melt before fire. But let God arise and let the voice of the God of the armies of heaven be heard in the outcome of 2020 election.